welcome to our Hope Sun Forest. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. It is a forest that is a very special one. It's been closed for about 400 years to the public and the family that owns it have only recently, I say recently, in the past couple of years, opened it back up. It's also the place where a lot of filming has taken place because there's a really cool bamboo, well, even here, like look at all the bamboo, but there's a really cool part later on. So this is our adventure to today. shows you all the different things that have been filmed here and it is stunning it's so beautiful I've come on the perfect day as well it's sunny but not hot but yeah it's just so much bamboo and then there's these two stones as well and I'm so sorry I don't know the meaning behind these I should have researched it before coming here but I'll look when I get back but it is just beautiful <laughs> However, if you do walk in amongst the bamboo, be prepared to get covered in cobwebs and bugs and lots of creepy coolies. Um, but it's it's kind of worth it. It's kind of cool. Where else will you find something like this? And that's the decision I had to make last night. It was either another temple today or this place. And I'm so glad I chose this place because it is so cool. I mean that it comes out on camera what I'm seeing <laughs> and it encourages you to come here as well it's just wow this is my kind of place to be <laughs> but unless anything else oh, they've kind of gone on a bit unless anything else incredible comes up that isn't more bamboo or something like that i'll probably end the vlog here i was thinking about maybe going to temple after this but i'm gonna do that tomorrow oh should i make this a two-parter sure this is part one let's jump to part two which will be tomorrow where we're going to a sea temple <laughs> And we are now here, it is the next day. That was a subway, a bus and a walk and we have made it here. I also met some really nice people on the way. But as you come in, there's all these stone statues. It looks really cool. And then the entrance has this amazing gate by it. I have also ended up coming on a Saturday. So it's incredibly busy. <laughs> <laughs> May not plan this the best. Oh, we are now just going to walk over the bridge to the temple. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, let me show you what's to the right of the bridge. <laughs> All of these guys look really serious. I mean, just look at that face. But over here, woohoo, this guy is having a great old time. Also, people are throwing coins into these pots. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a photo by it. Um, just don't know who to ask to take it. Um, to find out whether I succeeded, check out my Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's really cool here. I just love the underneath of all their temples. They're just so decorative. Um, yeah, let's keep looking around.
and we are back in the apartment. Uh, that temple was so cool. It's one of the few temples that have actually been built by the sea rather than up in the mountain. So it's quite unusual that way. So definitely worth checking out and it's free to get into. The only thing is I would recommend going on a weekday because it was so busy on a weekend. However, I did end up meeting um, this really nice American girl that we ended up chatting, um, getting a drink together, sharing a taxi. It was really nice. So uh, shout out to her if she happens to watch this. Thank you for the company. But yeah, that's the temple and the forest, both incredible, both worth seeing. You could probably do them in a single day, but I enjoyed splitting it up because that's about it for Busan. After today, I've got tomorrow, which is packing, washing, cleaning, and then the following day we're heading to Seoul. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the big city. So we're going to go there and uh, yeah, more videos will be coming your way. So subscribe so you don't miss them.